Caucasian Shock Circle is about a war that's going on. There is an heir, the child, Michael, and his mother, Nutella, she's just an evil woman, and she's very consumed with herself. All thrown together, no love, no understanding. It's a time like this you see what happens to servants. You stuff your faces with food, but you have no thanks. And she leaves her child behind to get killed. My character, Grusha, who is her housekeeper, comes and she sees the child, Michael, and takes the child as her own. The story is about her journey with the child and how she grows and falls in love with him and really becomes his mother. All right, Michael. Now we have to have our wits about us. Hmm? If we turn into tiny little cockroaches, that sister-in-law will forget we're here. We can stay until the snow melts. No, don't cry. Bertolt Brecht really, you know, had uh, had a significant impact on theater uh, through his writings and his productions. But the term is alienation effect. How can a barefoot girl outrun hounds and trappers? They hunt her day and night. And the, the point of it was he uh, didn't want the audience to necessarily connect with the actors emotionally. He wanted the audience to connect with what the actors were saying intellectually. If he hasn't been elected, we shouldn't use real criminals. He might be thick as a horse, but he's got to be elected or the law will be violated. <laughs> the law is a very sensitive being, just like the spleen. Never punch it or death sets in. We have a division of classes. So we have the 1% and we have the 99%. And in order to separate those two, we have a color story that we're using. So the 99% we're doing in earth tones, because as well as being a story about Rich and poor, it's also very much a story about Mother Earth and um, a sense of global awareness. And then the 1% is done in black and white and metallic. So there's a really, really clear distinction, as well as the slight reference to the 1940s. We have a couple characters who are based on iconic characters from the past. So we have a Joan Crawford character, we have a Laurel and Hardy. And an interesting point in this play is that the good guys aren't all good, the bad guys aren't all bad. And sometimes, you know, where you would expect the people who are oppressed would then be very, very um, positive and helpful with other people that are oppressed. Well, not necessarily. Same thing like the people of the 1%, would, you would think they would be sympathetic and empathic with other uh, members of the 1%. Not necessarily. So that's the whole point of this play is to really, you know, take your concept of reality, kind of put it on its ear and get you to really think about the message of the play.